Okay, boys and girls, we're going to try and do this on my larger tablet. This is a Vortec 4.2 engine. It is not exempt of the pollution control system law set up by the uh, uh, Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. Having a little trouble with my mnemonics today. Uh, anyway, all engines, internal combustion engines, will have some way to control the crankcase fumes blow by and byproducts of combustion which is water hydrocarbons things of that sort we're worried about the hydrocarbons but the byproduct that we're worried about also is the, is the water condensate we'll get into that in a few moments <clears throat> but these engines all have a crankcase ventilation system on them I don't care what your grandmother told you what your boyfriend told you or if you have one a girlfriend they do have a pollution control system in them this one happens to manifest itself right here. Now this hose right here, right there, that little S-shaped hose that goes up into this box, onto that nipple, onto your valve cover, is the atmospheric side of your emission control device, your, your PCV system. At no time does is dirty air allowed to get in there. So they take the air from somewhere between the air filter and the throttle body and the air is drawn into the crankcase through that nipple, through that hose, goes into the crankcase, washes through the engine and comes up over on the other side. Now, i got to get over here for you. The other side of the system is here. We have this hose, which is very hard to see down here. This is your CV side. This is your actual vacuum side. The other side is atmospheric. This side is vacuum. Now, this is drawn into the, the plenum chamber pretty much right before you get to the intake valves on the engine. The whole idea here is that we want to not dirty up this air box as much as we can help it. We want to keep it clean. There's no EGR system on here, like I said. So here we have the crankcase ventilation system is under a, a, a negative vacuum control and is drawn through that hose. Now, my recommendation is to clean that hose out from time to time. Now, I've used Barryman's B12. It's a very good cleaner. Lacquer cleaner would be okay. Barryman's is better, I think. But um, take that upper hose clamp off. Dump a capful or so of Berryman's in there, preferably on a hot engine. It'll go in there and it'll boil. Put the hose back on the nipple for a few moments, and then just boil and clean itself up. Then uh, start the engine, suck all that garbage out. Go ahead and put another capful in there. Do this a few times until, when the engine is running, you remove your dipstick, take it out, put your finger across the top of that tube, and you should feel a slight vacuum. If you don't feel a slight vacuum, your system's still not working. Now, how does the system manifest itself by not working? One, you get chocolate milk in the plenum chamber in this air box. Anything that gets in here can only be clean air because it's clean air from here, through here, to here. Zigzags around, takes all the sonic waves out of it, sends it down the plenum, sends it to the throttle body. The only thing that can be in here is clean air. If you got something else, you got something wrong. Now it's my thought, my theory, that all this problem we have with these really nasty, dirty, filthy, dirty uh, throttle bodies is caused by getting gunk in it because the crankcase ventilation system is not working correctly. If it doesn't work, the crankcase pressurizes and that blow-by having no place really to go does several things. One, it blows gunk up into here, condensate, because remember the byproduct of combustion is water. Mix it with the oil, turns it into emulsion. That gets into the throttle body, causes it to become contaminated, because there's nothing to contaminate the throttle body. It's clean air. Oh, unless you've got a K&N filter, then you've got oil and dirt and everything getting through there anyway. But biggest problem we're having with these things is the, the variable valve timing system 
they're getting the screens on them plugged up with that milk of garbage gets in there and it rusts and you get rust in that vac in that variable valve timing mechanism and it seizes locks up and causes all kinds of problems so if you will just take care of your PCB system service it regularly and yes it does have one service it regularly and the first time you see gunk forming inside your, your oil cap there's no gunk in there that's clean there's no gunk in there there's no gunk in there it's clean my dipstick is clean this car gets short hopped all over the place rarely does it get a 50 or 60 mile run so if you're getting gunk in here because your crankcase ventilation system isn't working that means you're blowing by gunk up through here into this chamber brown emulsion chocolate mayonnaise gets in your throttle body ruins your your variable valve timing mechanism ruins your throttle body causes all kinds of problems take care of it it'll take care of you all right hope this satisfies the people who didn't like having to go around looking at two different videos so hope you feel consolidated see you later bye